Hi everyone. Welcome to this video on how to perform zooming and panning in Sync Fusion Flutter Chart. In this video, I will show you how to enable pinch zooming, double tap zooming, selection zooming, customize the selection rectangle, enable panning, and setting zoom mode. Finally, I will show you how to enable mouse wheel zooming and set the maximum zoom level in the chart. I'm using a sample application that was configured with the chart package and configured the Sync Fusion Flutter chart. You can download this getting started sample from the link provided in the description below, and you can also watch the getting started video titled, How to Create a Flutter Line Chart in 10 Minutes, which I have shared in this YouTube card. In this sample application, I have added a line series with data using the data source property. I have mapped the X and Y value using the data source. I have enabled legend, tooltip, configured the primary X axis and Y axis. Let me run this application in an Android emulator. You can see the chart bound with data that shows the year-wise sales in USD millions. Now, let me show you how to perform pinch zooming in this chart widget. In the My Homepage State class, declare a field of type zoom pan behavior. The zooming and panning related APIs are available in this class. In the init state method, initialize the zoom pan behavior field. Add the enable pinching property and set the value true. This allows zooming in the chart by two fingers over chart. In the SF Cartesian chart, add the zoom pan behavior property and set the field that was created just before. Save the file and restart the application. You can perform zoom operation by pinching on the chart. Next, let me show you how to enable double tap zooming in the chart. In the zoom pan behavior field, add the enable double tap zooming property and set the value true. Restart the application. Double tap on the chart, you can notice the zooming is performed in the double tapped position. Also, you can zoom in based on selection. To achieve it, add the enable selection zooming property and set the value true. Restart the application. I select a position in the chart. You can notice the selection rectangle in the chart with axis tooltips. You can see the selected part of the chart is zoomed in. You can customize the selection rectangle look and feel. To do so, add the Selection Rect Border Color property and set the value to red. Use the Selection Rect Border Width property to change the width. The default width is 1. Use the Selection Rect Color property to change the selection color. Now save the file and restart the application. Perform selection on the chart, you can notice the selection rectangle has been customized as programmed. You can avoid showing the axis tooltips in the chart while performing the selection. To do so, in the primary x-axis property, add the interactive tooltip property and set the enable property to false. This disables the tooltip on the x-axis. Do the same for the y-axis. Restart the application. Perform selection on the chart, you can notice the selection doesn't show the axis tooltips in both x and y-axis. Next, let me show you how to enable panning in the chart. In the zoom pan behavior field, Add the Enable Panning property and set the value true. Restart the application. Perform a zoom operation and then pan the chart. I can pan in both X and Y axis. You can control the panning direction by adding the zoom mode property with the values X, XY, or Y. I set the value X so that I can pan only in the X axis direction. Restart the application. Perform a zoom operation and then pan the chart. I can pan only in the X axis now. Let's see how the same code works in a web browser. I'll stop the application, change the device name to Chrome, and run the application. Double click on the chart, you can see the chart zooms in exactly as it was before, only in the Google Chrome browser this time. You can perform zoom in and zoom out by rolling the mouse wheel up and down. To do so, in the zoom pan behavior field, add the enable mouse wheel zooming property and set the value true. Restart the application. I roll the mouse wheel up, you can see the zoom in operation. Scrolling down zoom out the chart. Also, you can restrict the zoom level using the maximum zoom level property. You can set the value from 0 to 1. I set the value to 0.7. The default value is null. Restart the application. I roll the mouse wheel up, you can see the zoom in operation is maximum up to 70%. Finally, let me show you how this works on the desktop. Change the device to Windows and run the application. You can see I can perform zoom operations. That's it. Let me summarize the main points of this video. 
You saw how to enable pinch zooming, double tap zooming, selection zooming, customize the selection rectangle, enable panning, and setting zoom mode. Finally, I showed you how to enable mouse wheel zooming and set the maximum zoom level in the chart. You can download this working example from the GitHub link and documentation link in the video description below. You can also check whether you are eligible for our community license, which gives you a free license key to use our Flutter products. If you found this video useful, click the like button and subscribe to our channel to get notifications about new videos. Thanks for watching.